and welcome everyone to this incredible presentation on how to write code that even a baby can understand it. The goal here, uh, of course, is to have everyone in this meeting who is non-technical get something out of this presentation because if I'm claiming that even a baby can understand code, let's make it happen. Cool. So here's a cute picture of a baby just so to get everyone to say, aww. <laughs> so here's a scenario. Time is ticking. You have a deadline. You don't know what to do. You have to rush. You have to write code. You have to get a product out the door. So what do you do? Well, what I would do is I would write poo poo code. Uh, and this is because I just, I'm just trying to get things to work. I don't care what, what things look like. I just want to get things to work. So here's what happens when you just try to get things to work. When you try to write code super, super quickly at the bottom, we have time at the, sorry, at the, X axis, we have time. At the Y axis, we have the cost per change. So as time goes on and you write clean code, the cost per change increases a little bit. But as you write poo poo code and time goes on, the cost per change goes up dramatically. So you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna be hanging off of a cliff like that dude there is doing. So this red line, how it goes up, that is what's typically called as tech debt. And you don't wanna accrue that tech debt because they'll take your house. Someone will come and take your house and uh, possibly your babies too. So can anyone tell me or try to guess what an engineer spends most of its career doing? Rewriting anyone? code. Reading code. Writing code. Drinking coffee. <laughs> I think all of the, the above are correct in some way or form, but I think most of the time is spent for sure reading code. And this is a scientifically proven fact, 93.5% of an engineer's code is spent writing. And this came from the Association of Victor's Imagination. So you have, you have to take it for as a fact. So please everyone, don't make us read poop -poo code. It's horrible, it'll make us all slower, it'll make us all suck. So I'm gonna show you a super quick video on what most people, especially people that have never written a single line of code in their lives, typically think that coding is about mainly because of movies. Uh, I'll show maybe like 10, 15 seconds and then we'll move on to the next slide. As you can see, a lot of flashing screens, a lot of crazy typing, you never stop. You're just going all the time. And she says she's getting hacked. And then two guys type, start, start typing on the same keyboard. How about that? Looks incredible, huh? Don't you wish you could play a program like that? <laughs> I really wish I could. <laughs> As you can see, that's absolutely ridiculous. So on the next slide, I'm gonna show what actual coding is like. And the guy's typing, he tries to compile his code, tries to get it to run. Right now, he just hit the table and said, God fucking damn it, because something didn't work. And then he just tries to Google what's wrong. And this is probably what we do over and over and over again all day long. So as you might, get a little bit right now. Coding is not really about being some crazy math computer guru. It's about acquiring so many experiences of Googling things that you know what to do at some point without having to Google it anymore. So don't try to be like the first video. This is something, this is a mistake that most junior programmers or beginning programmers make. They try to write a lot of crazy code super fast and don't do this. Uh, you, you'll end up with Google code, which is what we're trying to avoid. So. Yeah, like I said, don't write crazy fast code, you'll end up with a lot of poop on your hands. <laughs>